you're snacking right now, then your body is actually trying to tell you one of these three things. But I'm going to be sharing those three things with you guys today. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name's Autumn and I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's in nutrition and human performance. My passion is to help you feel your best through food. If you're not new to my channel, if you've been watching my videos for a while now, then you know that I'm not actually a huge fan of snacking. In fact, snacking can lead to bloating, can lead to IBS, it can lead to weight gain. There's a lot of things that snacking can actually sneakily lead to. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm wearing a shirt that says don't feed the hipsters. I, I mean, I don't really know what this video has to do with hipsters or really why I got this shirt in the first place. Now, the first possible thing that your body's trying to tell you if you are snacking is that you didn't eat enough at your previous meal. Now, this might make sense if you just really think about it. Like, if you are hungry or if you feel the need to have something between meals, then obviously you probably didn't eat enough, right? Now, this is something that's actually more common than you would think because a lot of people, a lot of my own clients I've seen this with as well, were so trained to just eat really, really small portions in order to achieve our different goals, like wellness goals or weight loss goals, mostly weight loss goals or fitness goals. So we're trained to really eat a lot less than what we really might actually need. I'm not saying that you should just eat all the food, but it's really important to make sure that you're eating enough food. So eating until satiated, which I talk a lot about in this video. So one possible thing that your body's telling you if you do feel that need to snack between meals is that you are hungry and you need to add more food to that previous meal. So you can really use snacking as a way to gauge if you do need to incorporate more food or larger serving sizes with your breakfasts or lunches or dinners. Okay, the second thing your body's trying to tell you, okay, maybe you ate enough at your last meal, but you didn't eat enough of the right Thing. Now there are a couple things that really help to turn off our hunger hormones. Protein and fat are huge, very important factors for turning off our hunger hormones. So if you're not getting enough protein or fat, which fat is usually the one that people aren't getting enough of because we tend to be in this fat fearing society, then even though you ate enough food, enough energy, you didn't eat enough of the right foods that will actually turn off your hunger hormones. Now the way that this works, so really what's left is carbohydrates, right? So if you're to have a meal that's really densely packed in carbohydrates, that means that you're going to not have that protein and that fat to slow down the release of the sugar sugars into your body's blood supply. That's going to cause a rather quick spike and a fall in your blood glucose levels. And it's that fall, that hypoglycemia, that causes you to feel the need to snack because you have that low blood sugar and your body wants to bring it back to that normal level. So if you didn't eat enough protein and fat to go along with the carbohydrates that you're having at your previous meal, then that will cause you to need snacks in between meals as well because of those spikes and falls in that blood glucose level. Now the third thing, you're stressed. Snacking could even be a cue from your body that you need to just go take a walk outside and just bring your cortisol levels back down. It's been pretty fairly well reported that when you're stressed, you're more likely to indulge on carbohydrate type of rich foods, which will actually cause more of those spikes and falls in your glucose levels, in your energy levels, and ultimately make it so that you are still craving more food. So the next time you go to really reach for a snack, instead of reaching for a snack, try and think about what the reason is for why you're actually grabbing that snack in the first place. Did you eat enough at your previous meal? Did you have any protein or fat at your previous meal? Or maybe are you super stressed right now? Because if so, you can actually remedy those solutions for the future so that you aren't reliant on snacks or eating every couple of hours. And that'll actually help you to reach your whatever wellness goal you may have by allowing your gut to have that break in between those meals, activating your MMC pathway, which I talk a lot about in this video. And in fact, if you are a chronic snacker or you always have some type of snack in your purse, maybe even a protein bar, I highly recommend that you check out this video right here because this one is a passion project of mine to make sure that you guys know the details of protein bars. All right guys, this is a short one today, but if you love nerding out on nutrition and learning the science you deets behind what it is that makes you feel good, then you can subscribe to my channel right here. I'm out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, I will see you in the next video.